Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. It's spooky season and I can't wait to show you guys my DIY costume projects that I've prepped for Halloween. Now, if you're like me and you're last minute, I'm sure you're going to appreciate those cheap and easy costumes while still looking glamorous and still turning heads, you know what I mean? So without wasting any more time, let's just get right into it. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna spray paint um, the Dollarama Shield and Sword with this uh, chrome spray paint that I got from Michaels. And then once this is done and dry, I'm gonna just stick these gems on the shield and sword and just try to make it look uh, prettier and more glam. And of course, I'm gonna use my E6000 glue because this is the only glue that I trust and it won't move and it won't go anywhere. Wow, look how much better this shield is looking already. Just with a little chrome spray painting. I mean, the cheap feeling is completely gone. So now I'm just gonna put these little gems onto these gaps and hopefully it looks like it does in my head. I really do prefer the sword this way. I think it looks so much better than it did before. It is a little boring though, so I will be taking my glue and adding these little gems to the blade part. Okay, so all I did was tie this little rope around the headband, that's it. It's so easy, just do the rest for the entire headband and we will spray paint this later. Okay, so as you can see by the mess, I just cut some of the edges to give it more definition and make it prettier and now it's time to spray paint. I actually really like how it's turning out so far. I'm just taking my little paintbrush with some glittery paint and I'm painting over the edges to hide the little bumps of the tie. As I previously mentioned, this does make you a little bit more unique because an angel is still a very popular costume. So this will make you stand out and I will be linking everything down below. I really appreciate how this halo turned out. Honestly, it's pretty good. Love the sword too. Honestly, just put gems on everything. There you go, problem fixed. Can you guess just from the iconic necklace? Yes, it's Holly Golightly from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I always wanted to do this costume because she's one of my favorite characters. It's one of my favorite movies. I just love the aesthetics of this movie and I just find it so fascinating how Marilyn Monroe was supposed to have that role but her agent was like no don't do it because it's um the character is seen as a lady of the night and that's not good for your image and Audrey was like yeah yeah I'll do it and turns out it's like the most iconic movie ever uh fun fact yeah but anyways I'm obsessed I can't believe I got this on Shein for like eight dollars or something I can't remember how much I paid but I mean this is exactly like the exact replica from the movie. I can't believe I got this on Shein, but anyways. And the dress is good too. Like the good thing about DIY costumes is that you can always rewear the clothes. It's not like a one-time deal where you get to just wear the costume once in your life and just never touch it ever again. But this is kind of the fun part of it. And yeah, oh my gosh, I love it. So there is no craft portion for this costume. It was super easy. Everything is bought either at the dollar store or on Shein. I will be linking everything down below. I just cannot believe how I got an exact replica of the necklace. And I can't believe I got these glasses at the dollar store. That's crazy. But if you ask me, we definitely need to bring back 1950s fashion because it was just too damn good. Yes! Oh my goodness, I am so happy with how this little headpiece turned out. Honestly, it's so good. Look, I'm really, really satisfied with this. And the jewelry is just, it's everything. Honestly, I could dress up like this all the time. I could go to work like this, go grocery shopping like this, get gas. Honestly, yes. 
I love this costume. Let me give you guys a full on show. Okay, now for the showgirl headband, you kind of have to cut out a um, glittery construction paper that you're gonna put on top of the headband like so. Um, I'm gonna walk you guys through it because this one's a little bit more complex. All right, so this is what the back of the headband looks like. I secured it with three popsicle sticks and I put a lot of E6000 glue all over it. Not super professional, but whatever. This is a DIY and I'm just gonna put some a glittery paper at the back of it so it looks less chaotic okay please excuse this table it's like a kindergarten's arts and craft mess but anyways um once it's time to put the feathers just kind of place them first to see where you want them and then tape them and then we'll flip them around and then you can add your little um thingamajiggies to make it look nicer all right so the back of your headpiece should look like this the feathers are all taped up it's secure once you're done gluing the back, it should look like this. Okay, I'm actually super impressed with this headpiece. For a DIY project, this turned out really good. I can't wait to see what it looks like on my head. I am completely obsessed with this costume. Honestly, I feel like I nailed it. I'm obsessed with the jewelry and I'm really impressed and satisfied with the headpiece. It turned out really good. And I think it's one of my most proud DIY so far. If you have more time, I would suggest making a tail and a boa made out of feather. I feel that would really complete the look. Next, we have Cruella Deville or Cruella Devil. Okay, please don't be mad at me. I was supposed to um, spray the half of my head with white spray paint for your hair that I got from Spirit Halloween, but I don't have time. I'm going somewhere, so please don't be like, disappointed or anything um just imagine that half of my hair is white okay good um let me show you the whole view i love this costume it's so pretty this is definitely giving um boss babes vibe though like i feel this is how corella would dress to go to work how terrifying would it be if your boss dressed like this i would be concerned in a good way i guess i don't know <laughs> but i'm definitely going to be reusing this blazer and the boots that's the fun thing about DIY is you get to reuse everything. It's not just a one-time deal. I just really wish half of my head was white, but please forgive me for that. Wake up, Neo. <laughs> okay, um, obsessed. I love leather and I love The Matrix. I love this movie. I love Keanu Reeves. I just wanted to do Trinity because I just, she's such a badass character. I had to do her, so. Let me show you guys a little closer because there is still stuff underneath, like in case this gets hot at the party or something, wherever you're going, I feel like you will need some of this. All right, let's break this down, shall we? There is so much leather going on here. It's literally leather heaven. I'm obsessed. I feel this looks so good. I always wanted to be Trinity for Halloween and I finally get to be her. So just let me have that moment. I'm just so infatuated with the drama, the fierceness, the sexiness. It's just really good. This is a really good Halloween costume. Just get yourself a Neo and a Morpheus. I just feel like this costume is so appropriate for the 2020s because what is even going on? Like get me out of the matrix someone. Um, yeah, totally appropriate for the time period we're in. If you love leather like me, this is for you. And yeah, I think that's it for that. All right, next we have a fairy. You guessed it. Oh, I'm so happy with it. It looks so cute. I love the little grass on the arms. It kind of makes it look like an earth fairy. I'm really happy with it. And these wings are just everything. <laughs> Look, it's your little earthy fairy. No, just kidding. There's really no rules in the fairy world though. Like you can just make things up as you go. You can be very creative. All I needed for this costume was some green rope from the dollar store and that's really it. I feel that it really added to the earthy tones of this costume and what I was going for, but you can really just be creative and do whatever you want. Bond. 
<laughs> okay. Um, yes, so this is a Bond girl costume. I couldn't resist. There is a new Bond coming soon and I've been a James Bond fan since I was literally three feet tall, so I just couldn't resist. Let me show you guys the full deal. So you probably already guessed that I'm gonna paint this little toy gun in black to match my Bond girl costume and that's it. We don't need the rest, just this. Okay, our little baby toy gun is almost done. It just needs a second coat, obviously, and I might bedazzle it with some gems to make it extra. Okay, she turned out pretty good. I don't mind her at all. Um, I just added the little bedazzled because I don't want this to look too real. I know it sounds stupid, but I don't want to make anyone nervous if I go to a party or something. So let her stay looking fake. <laughs> Okay, just forget the description for a second. Um, please just cast me. Like, honestly, I'm a little young right now to be a Bond girl, but when I hit 30, can someone in the cinema industry just cast me as a Bond girl, please? I will be forever grateful. I am a huge fan of the Bond movies I've been watching since I was a little girl. It's always been my dream to be a Bond girl. So if you see this, um, yeah, just cast me. I mean, stop sleeping on me. I'm ready and I'm gonna do a great job, I feel. No, but seriously, check out my IMDb and I'll send you my demo reel headshot and resume if you want to. Okay, next. All right, can you guys guess the costume? Celia Kyle, of course. I can't have a good DIY costume video without Catwoman because we just love her. Um, I would wear this right now, like the little um, mask part but look at my eyelashes like there's no way I can fit a mask on top of these eyelashes are too damn dramatic I'm sorry just imagine this on my head please and this suit is just everything just hold on so for the cat mask that I got at the dollar store I'm just going to be painting it in black because it's not that bad but the purple and the glitter isn't really the aesthetics that I'm going for for the costume so it needs to match the cat suit, so. And please excuse the cat scratches on my table made by my real cat. Oh my goodness, please ignore. He's just like destroying every piece of furniture I have. So I'm just gonna do that off camera and I'll see you guys in a bit. I was always so infatuated with Selena Kyle. I just think she is the baddest anti-hero there is and I love her. She is so sexy and bold and confident and I just had to do her in honor of the newest Batman coming out with Robert Pattinson and I can't wait to see it. DC, if you ever see this, cast me as Catwoman. I would be so, so, so happy and look, I would do a great job, okay? But that's it for me today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!